John McBride. Uh, I'm a retired uh, Navy pilot and retired NASA astronaut. I uh, was very proudly the pilot of the first flight that carried seven people into space. It was the 13th mission of the space shuttle and I flew on the Challenger for eight and a half days. Well, I'm very excited about that, Artemis, and uh, I get very excited about the future of space, and every time I hear somebody planning to do uh, more and more missions, it makes me very, very happy. I, I hope I live long enough to see a uh, uh, human walk on our near planet Mars. I think everything's possible. Just uh, it takes the dedication, and it, obviously it takes money. So, uh, whichever country or whichever group of countries decide they want to go to Mars, it's going to have to going to have to dedicate it, enough money to make it happen. And it's going to take. Uh, it depends on how much money they want to put in. It's going to take five between five and ten years for us to leave this Earth and branch off and go to Mars. So it's not a not a short-term project, nor is it going to be very inexpensive. It's going to cost a lot of money and going to take a lot of time. I think living on Mars is possible. Uh, all things are possible. You know, we uh, back in the 40s and 50s when we were talking about man going to the moon, people were saying that's impossible. You can't live on the moon. Well, we proved that that's wrong. So. Uh, yeah, I think uh, living on Mars is entirely possible. It's not much more harsh than uh, than the moon. But to go further, obviously, I don't think we we'll go to Mercury or any closer to, to the sun. It's just too hot and unlivable. And you get much further away from the Earth or away from the sun, it's much more difficult to live out there. So I think Mars and Earth uh, are probably the only two <coughs> planets in our solar system that we could uh, that human beings can actually live on. I like to, to encourage all the young students here in Argentina and all in uh, you know, the southern part of South America. Uh, you can do anything you want to do. Your primary responsibility, though, is to stay in school, uh, listen to your parents who love you very much, and study, study, study. Uh, you can't learn too much. You can learn too little, but you can't learn too much. So take advantage of this opportunity that we're giving you to study, stay in school, and go to school every day prepared with your homework and having gotten ready for that day's activities. So you only get one chance to get a good education, so don't mess it up. Do it right the first and only time. <laughs>